Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at Matt Mania. Matt Mania is an older arcade game. It's a wrestling game I really, really liked as a kid. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It holds up today. Uh, I remember going to Salt's Castle. I so had a wrestling game. I was a huge wrestling fan as a kid. Still a big wrestling fan today. Uh, this game really hit the mark when it came to a wrestling game. So let's get into Matt Mania. Show you how it plays. So the cool characters. It's made by Taito. It came out in 1985 in the arcade, and the Atari 7800 in 1990 got a port. So you have your announcer down there. So that's some like TV presentation. This is always cool. The TWA, which I think is Taito Wrestling Association. Uh, you're just player one, so you're just a like a generic guy, but you have a lot of moves, and the graphics I think are very good, especially for the time. Has some good music. You have this huge wrestling ring. Um, bright characters, got a lively cr <laughs> uh, crowd back there with Darth Vader, uh, Superman. So, and then you have this insane warrior, it's like a road warrior, kind of like knockoff kind of guy. So it has a, a little bit of a learning curve because all wrestling games kind of have a learning curve I've, I've found. And so you're gonna have to like figure out how to do the moves, you got body slams, you got uh, the tensor pile driver. <laughs> You have a high cross body, uh, Irish whip, backdrop, so lots of stuff you can do. You have this um, spin kick, and the strategy I use as a kid and now at the end of the day, I usually try to get them up towards the top rope so you can hit them with some top rope moves. And then you always try to trump with a high cross body. So the first guy's pretty easy, also have this kick. Which is very, very slow. And usually you can pull that off pretty early, but I guess not. So I'll try to wear him down a little bit. Alright, there's the pile driver. Didn't mean to pin him. Alright, so that was pretty easy. First, first guy. I do say learning curve, because unlike a fighting game like Street Fighter, where you're like three of the characters just have one, a one button special like uh, E Honda, Chun-Li, and Blanca, just one button and you'll do a fury kick or a thousand hand slap or electricity. But this, you know, you gotta learn what to do. So punch them down usually, stay off the same plane, and wear them down with the body slams, the Irish whip moves, and then you can go for like a, a, a more damaging move like a suplex. So let's see if we can get one out here. Whoops. So you have the kick button to trump that usually. For some reason it's not doing the suplex, but you do have a suplex. And uh, each of these characters that you're fighting have their own specials, like Karate Man has like a um, super fast punch, a knee drop, and then a flying kick. So that's why he tries to Irish whip you a lot. And then those chops to the back, try to move in. So once he does that twice, he'll be able to move in and like really hit you fast. So uh, he's probably gonna move in here. Almost. Clothesline, the top rope, do an elbow drop, and drop a knee. The elbow is the stronger the moves. That should be it. The third character is Coco Savage. He's the hardest character in the game, even more so than the championship match. I'll tell you why here in a second. It's probably going to show you why. So he always will give me the most difficult time because his move sets very quick. He um, spams a shoulder block, and his special special is uh, the giant swing. So when you're down on the ground, he just grabs your feet, swings you around, and you really start losing health. And he also has a headlock punch where he will spam, and a there's a shoulder block and a chop. Maybe to try to do a chop here. No. So 
problem with him doing that. <laughs> well, that was good. You can also go outside the ring. He's gonna come back in. Yeah, this is kind of the quarter steal of the game. This guy here. Let's keep doing that, which is fine. <laughs> See, the fact that he can do that is a problem. Alright, so we're gonna try to get up here. Hit him maybe twice. Do two elbows. And hopefully that'll get rid of him. Yeah, because if he got up, he probably would have won. Uh, he's definitely the hardest match, especially early on. And then after you win, you're gonna have to recycle the characters again. Or go through them. So the Piranha as a kid, he was my favorite uh, character art-wise. So he looked really cool. So I've always been a fan of like the mask wrestlers. So he has a lot of dirty tactics, like a choke and like a blatant punch. And his face, <laughs> face squeeze. Punch. There you go, back elbow. Alright. So a lot of times, especially when we get up, try to get him toward the ropes here. Okay, get up there. The matches are pretty quick. You know what you're doing. I mean, you have like a five minute time limit. So you definitely want to get, try to get through them. So now will be the championship match. As a kid, I always thought this guy was Hulk Hogan. Uh, I think it might be a, a mix between Bruiser Brody and Hulk Hogan. So he does have a leg drop. Got some championship title match music, which is nice. This game is very, very well done. Uh, controls are very tight. Again, like a uh, stay on. Cheese them a little bit. So he has a very fast kick, you can see. That's good. And a drop kick. Which I totally forgot about. Alright, get him up towards these ropes here. Do some top rope damage, hopefully. That's not what we want to do. So you can win by count out. Got a cameraman down there. I think he might be done. Alright, so there's championship match. Your belt and a trophy. Yeah, There's not much bad I can say about this game. I, <clears throat> for what it is, it's really at the time, even now, I'd say it's a 10 out of 10 game for like arcade wrestling. So it randomizes the um, order because I played this a little while ago and the first defense was against Karate Fighter. So this guy has a pretty cool special move. So I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do it. I think I've talked about everything we've talked about in the game. But like I said, if you see it out in the wild, or you don't wanna play it on your cabinet that you own, so you can have a ROM or a board. Definitely, definitely worth it. Oh yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, God. I'm supposed to do that now, I think. I don't think it helps, but... Uh, music changes. So he should pick me up and do a special. I'll just bait him. Alright. Nope. Well, 
Because I, I think it looks pretty cool. It's still not going to do it. <laughs> pretty loud riff. As you can see, you can trump the high cross body quite a bit. But we're not the time. <laughs> so he pretty much defeated himself. Well, that's funny. Alright, one title defense. There's no continue, so once you lose, that's it. You gotta start all the way back over. I got some uh, rematch music there. The title. And you can use the pro wrestling strategy. Let's see. Put them out of the ring and then fly out after them. <laughs> Alright, so. There's a leg drop. We should pin. It's not going to pin. So he might trump the high cross body. I thought he's not pinning. Uh, Mr. Suplex. <laughs> My eyes kind of bulge out there. I don't know. I'll try to win it. Ah, uh, see, so kicked out. Alright, that's probably it. So there's Map Mania, a very fun game. Always enjoyed it. It was fun playing just right now, actually. It's like Corey got sad. And I think you get this because I won the championship. I think you get this little scene here. You know, the artwork and who did what. Yeah, not much to complain about here. And then only being a wrestling fan in 1985, this really, this really hit the mark. Put it in triple R here. All right. Again, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> cool characters. You have Player One, which is you, Insane Warrior, Karate Fighter, Coco Savage, the Piranha and Golden Hulk. So, good game. Map Mania. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.